Joel, amazing results. Did I read these right this morning? <laughs> Thanks, Tracy. Yes, definitely. I mean, you can see by the length of the press release, we put a lot of thought into how we present the results here. There, it's ex some exceptionally good numbers in there. Uh, our team went through a rigorous quality assurance, quality control program before we put this out. And But I guess this is indicative both of the rigor we put into making sure the results are accurate, as well as how good the results are. And even though they're early stage, the lab uh, ind independently reassayed the results four times before releasing it to us because they didn't believe it. So that speaks to both. There was quality control behind uh, you know the data here. And also we're onto something that's that's quite unusual in terms of uh, what we're seeing in these grab samples. And for those of you out there new to true precious metals, you may not realize that they're positioned neatly right between two relatively large cap gold companies. Would you not, would you not agree? Yeah, we, we've got Marathon, a TSX listed Marathon, you know, right beside us, 5 million ounces of gold turning into a mine right beside us. And on the other side is an Australian listed company, Matador. They've got an 840,000 ounce resource. So true control of all the land between those two. And that's where we made this discovery. I would love to see your uh, uh, behind the scenes numbers of people looking at this news release. It, it just broke uh, two hours ago. So let's get into this just a little bit more. These are high grade gold results that by most standards are quite incredible. Can you comment specifically about these? Sure. There, I mean, there's a, we have a variety of uh, grades in the in the press release. There was there's two targets actually where the results come from. One's called Rich House. We had a number of grades around four to as high as 16 grams per ton. Those are good numbers. It's from surface, it's from rock samples, so it's stuff that was taken, you know, at the surface. And the other area, Mark's Pond, is where we had some triple digit and even a quadruple digit number, you know, 180 grams a ton, 200 grams a ton, 1,900 plus grams per ton. So again, these numbers are these numbers are they are exceptionally high, which is great. What is important to keep in mind, and they've been verified by the lab and everything. So the numbers are reliable. What is important to keep in mind is they're probably not representative of expected drill results because you're testing a much larger area and you're trying to see continuity. So I think you know we do want to kind of keep our expectations somewhat measured and realistic. At the same time, what's very clear is when you see numbers like this, which are very anomalous, we're they're definitely indicative of high-grade gold potential at these targets when it comes time for us to drill them. You say in your quote, we have been very deliberate in locking up this Golden Rose district scale land package. Do you feel, Joel, that's the end of the quote there. I just took an excerpt from your comment. Uh, do you feel you've locked all of this up or is there any additional pro property you're planning on acquiring here? So there's not really much left for us to explore, frankly. We doubled the project in size through staking options acquisition since uh, acquiring it in May of 2021. So there's not really much left for us to go out and buy. The, the targets where we are finding these results are on land we've optioned right beside what we initially started with as a land package. So, you know, over time, we'll have to earn into our ownership interest of these claims, but they're already under option secured by us uh, and, and actually bordering on the claims we, part of the initial claims package we had. So I think we're about done with the acquisitions for Golden Rose. It's about as big as we want it to be. The, the maps on your news release are outstanding. In fact, your news releases have always been written in and by a superior standard, if you ask me, someone who reads them all day Thank long. You. Um, is there anything else that you would like to add with regards to this good news? Otherwise, I expect your phone is ringing off the hook. The project's shaping up very nicely because we have multiple targets on the property now. We have Woods Lake, where we previously drilled gold in a bunch of holes last year. We have Jacob's Pond, where we discovered good numbers for copper and silver, as well as some gold earlier this year. And now we've got March Pond and Rich House, where we're having, again, very good numbers, albeit earlier stage, but at the surface. So you're not talking about three or four de definite targets on what's a district scale land package. And we barely scratch the surface. We, we barely been to most of the property because it's so large and we just don't have the time, personnel or money to go over the whole project. So I think there's a lot left to be discovered here uh, along Golden Rose at our project, in addition to what we're already touching on. And I think you know that pretends very well for our future. And speaking of your future, what should we be looking forward to as shareholders? I mean, you know, you've barely had time to 
even enjoy this news release. So, so I hate asking this question, but since I have you uh, in an update here, what should shareholders anticipate? More drilling results here this fall? Yeah, so we still actually have channel samples to come to follow on this press release. This press release is grab samples and rock samples, which is you know what we've collected at surface. We've done channel samples, which is a more uh, accurate method of what you might expect to see in drilling because it's it simply it's increasing degrees of confidence without going into all the details of each method. So we're looking to get channel sample results back from the lab. We'll be releasing those uh, hopefully in the coming weeks once we get those from the lab. And at that point, you know, we're probably into early 2023, we start looking at how would we formulate a multi-target drill program uh, at some point in 2023 across the targets we've identified and anything else we might want to take a look at. There's a lot of uh, homework for us ahead, but then eventually I think it's time for us to firm up further the targets we've already identified on the property. Well, again, many congratulations on what is nothing short of wow results to you and the team of True Precious Metals. And for those of you interested in finding out more, please go to their website. Thank you, Joel. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Tracy.